Today is the is the sixteenth. Sixteenth, okay. Which oh, means we're about a couple of months away. Almost the nineteenth. Yeah, the royal wedding. Nineteenth right? will be two months exactly. And when you're a bride, of course, you got a lot of things that you got to be concerned about. Which uh, is not fair. Finding the right dress. Yeah. Right. Uh, usually the cake. Right. You got to uh, plan the whole darn thing. Yeah. Well, for the most part, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the guests. Hey, who are we yeah, kidding here? True. Okay. But when you're a royal bride like Meghan Markle, you've got a few extra obligations to fulfill, including uh, kidnap training. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Uh, Meghan Markle apparently has just completed two days of what they're calling uh, kidnap training to prepare her for any uh, worst case or emergency scenario that she might find herself in once she becomes an official member of the royal family. Yeah, I took some pre-wedding courses, but it did <laughs> not like include <laughs> terrorist training. That this is, is for sure. This is serious business here. Uh, she apparently... I don't think that is the training. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's not it. That that looks pretty easy. That looks pretty good. <laughs> Can you fend off that young man? Can you? Yeah, no. Uh, no, they actually put her, like, in, uh, in the English countryside. Again, a two-day terror course. No food, no water. Yeah, it was run by, uh, well, they didn't go I, I added, that far. I, yeah. uh, this was run by the British SAS, which is the Special Air Service. And, uh, like, there's, like, explosions. They use live, real ammunition uh, Princess well. Diana's hair caught on fire when she did this. Because mm. when, you're, when you marry into the royal family, you do this. You have to be prepared. Now, often you do it after the wedding, but because there's so much hype surrounding this one, they're making her do it now. Okay. I wonder if they usually do it after the wedding because, well, you might back out <laughs> to do it before. And I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of this. Forget it. Got it. I, well, you I know mean, what? Marriage is pretty serious and pretty scary for most people just on a regular basis, never mind adding two days' worth of terror training. But when you, when you read the fine print, <laughs> it's, she's getting outdoor survival training, as you mentioned, uh, in case she's ever in a life and death situation in the wilderness. I just, I'm, tr I'm going over royal engagements, mm -hmm. and I just don't know how often they've been in, stuck in the, in the brush, deep in the True, because in usually, like, where's MI6? I mean, James Bond should be uh, probably uh, assigned to uh, Harry and Meghan. I mean, they shouldn't have to worry about this stuff. But I guess, and I mean, even hate to talk like this, but God forbid, like, she's kidnapped and left in the wilderness somewhere sometime. I, know. I, I guess that's what they're doing. But you know what? If, anyone, for, and if anyone's ready for this training, I would imagine it's her, given her acting background. I, I think she would just take this on as, like, kind of like Lara Croft training okay. boot camp. <laughs> like it's a role. Yeah, kind of, sort of.